Uh, first, I would like to thank the organizers for the invitation. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the Converse theorem of Gold Zagir, Cody Wagen, in the same case. First introduction. Suppose we are given a Euclidean curve over Q. Then we can associate uh, this error function E over Q. It's a complex error series. This is uh, the one to be analytic. And also, the associated uh, arithmetic groups, model V group, due to by EQ, and uh, this shafferitated group, the color of H1, Q, and the EQ bar, the product of V places over Q of this. And uh, this guy is a uh, conjecture to be finite. Suppose we are given a prime P, then we can introduce this P symbol group. So we have this P symbol group, P over Q. This is the curl of H1 of this EP infinity. Go to product of H1 QV of E QV bar. And uh, these three arithmetic groups fit into a short exact sequence. So we have this short exact sequence EQ tensor with the QP over ZP to the same group. Is Sha, AP part of Sha. So today I'm going to talk about a special case of BSD conjecture, which um, seems approachable um, with uh, is the current techniques. So this case is the following. Suppose we are giving E and Q as above, oh, E over Q and P as above, then the following are equivalent. The first, um, maybe let me write down here. Suppose E over Q and P as above. So the following are equivalent. First, uh, the vanishing order of this uh, complex air series at the central point equals 1. Second one, the model V rank of E over Q is 1, and the Sha E over Q is finite. And the third one is the Rank of ZP of the similar group U over Q is also 1. And uh, under these conditions, and the P part BSD formula holds. That means the derivative of E over Q at 1 divides the regulator times the period defined by the differential form of E. This equals the Tamagawa number times the cardinality of Sha over the cardinality of torsion part of model V group and square. And the CP part just means this equality holds up to 
periodic unit. At this moment, we know both sides are rational numbers. Yes. One, not zero. Where? Rank of the one. Yeah, so there is analogous. So remark, there is, a, of course, there is an analogous uh, case with rank zero, which, lo which we know we low more. I'm going to use uh, some result here, but uh, I just said it for this rank one case, which. Uh, so why just say one not zero? There is a case zero, but um, our result is about one. Oh, your, your result. <coughs> Same as you. Yeah. If the p part of this uh, thing, why are you think of the p? So you, all p together will be. You could. So BS, BS conjugation means this are equal. So I so-called p part of this equality means they are equal up to p unit. And uh, so the lower result about this uh, spatial case of BSD, the following. So first, 1 implies 2. This is by, uh, so this is by gross Aguirre and the Kodiwagen. Like you choose suitable K in imaginary quadratic field such that this L series of the twist of E over K at the air value at one is non zero. Then, and this, uh, just uh, non vanishing, then we load the vanishing order of this base change of E go to 2K equal to one. Right? Because this guy is the air series of this multiple by the original one. If you assume one, so the vanishing order is one. If the vanishing order is one, then is the gross gear formula. But so in general case, is proved by why is it what we So this tells you certain hanger points is non-torsion, and this was implied by Kodiwagen's Euler system. Um, so this model we rank of E over K has rank one and uh, the sha of e over k is finite. Then from this, you know the, the statement for e over k also hold. So <coughs> they get the whole of sha or the p part of sha? There is no p. So for all whole part. So you do it for each p. After some p, you, the most p, you prove it trivial. So could you again prove it for almost all p it is trivial and for every p it is finite. And the second implication, just by this, uh, by definition, just uh, so this just by this exotic that sequence. Right? If this has rank one, this is finite. Then you know this has co rank one. And this three implies one. This is. Uh, we so called the converse theorem. So this implication. And uh, very recently, very recent progress on this uh, progress on this uh, on this part. Many so for this non CM case and plus some mild condition. Uh, first, by Wei Zhang, together with uh, his proof for Kodiwagen conjecture, he proved the converse theorem for P ordinary other, uh, and uh, using the technique mm -hmm. like a level 
level reason and the rank lower together with this congruence of module forms considered by botany Daman. And uh, at the uh, almost same time, Skinner also proved uh, the result uh, on this converse theorem under different mild condition, but also for p ordinary. And here, he used uh, this BDP plus Xinhua's main conjecture. Uh, she wants the result on main conjecture. <coughs> and uh, uh, like um, in these days, Kastela and, uh, and Xing Wan prove the result for P super singular and also use, uh, and also use ones, um, use Howard and ones. Main, main conjecture. And the result, their technique here um, requires this uh, the condition on the big gala image. So it seems technique uh, they used to so require this. Uh, big Galois image condition on this, this residual repetition, I say to E, so that this same case is excluded. And uh, today, I'm going to say about the same case. So the main result is the following, so theorem the joint work with Ashe. Uh, net E over Q be a same if curve over Q and P not equals to an ordinary prime. Ordinary for E means split in the same field of E. Then we know the co-rank of, of the same group E over Q equals 1 implies this uh, complex air series of E at the center point has order 1. So there is, for example, P equals three, we know this splits in co-joint square level to two. So that, so it is ordinary for the same curve. Like E, for example, this is Y square equals X cubed plus four X square plus two X, which has a same field by this. Now, there is a conjecture of Goldfield. So they want to understand the. Right small, you know. <laughs> okay, just one. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so. Uh, For, for example, people, can people want to understand the quadratic twist of the equal curve E, how the analytical order varies. But uh, it seems uh, easy to understand the same as three for this uh, small prime p equals three, the same group. So we, if we know the distribution of, the, uh, of this uh, three similar group in the quadratic twist family, this will tell you, by our result, tell you this analytic behavior. 
of this uh, quadratulous family. Yeah, so this is uh, the quadratic twist family of this uh, same curve. OK, so anyway, it's the same group. It looks seems like easier than this uh, complex air analytic rank. And uh, so the second one is about this, uh, about this uh, formula part. So for this, uh, for P part, BSD formula, and now no result for not for non same case, non same case, uh, plus some mild condition. So we just again. So in his proof on code one conjecture, and also. Jechev and the Skinner, the one. And for the same case, so assume, assuming this condition one, this Anati rank being one, they, so they prove this P part of, um, of PLD formula. In long same case, and for same case, uh, I think this is the pair in U. Ruby for good uh, ordinary and the Kobayashi for good for also for super singular and uh, with a little bit uh, extension. Of the work of Perrin Yu, uh, joined with Yong Xiong Li and Yu Liu, we can prove this potentially good ordinary. Okay, so uh, so combine these two things, what we can have. So we can also get this under the same condition. Also, this P part, BSD formula holds. OK, so this is the main result. And uh, I can give you an example. For example, suppose this P congruent to 5, mod 8 uh, is up. Yes, so the color, this implies of uh, analytic rank is one. Under analytic rank is one, pair you put out this work, yes, tell your P part. Yeah. So suppose P is a prime congruent to five of mod eight. Then we know this P Y square equals X cube minus X. This uh, equal E satisfies conditions one, two, three. At this moment, we lose this. And uh, four PSD formula holds. So this uh, Hinger himself proved um, Hinger points associated to this curve is non torsion and then you use some, what I said, so the three conditions are hold, or, or holds, and using this, uh, using this uh, good ordinary and the good super singular, then you can prove um, BSD formula error part for error is lot two and lot p. And use this, you prove for error equals p. And uh, for P equals, for L equals two, two parts of BSD, this uh, can follow from Grotagger formula plus Hinger's argument. So at the end, we get a family of elliptic curve of rank one uh, with the four BSD holds. OK, so now let, let me give some remark on oh. 
this thing always have rank one? Because hanger points is non-torsion. So, so if you consider this E base change to Q joins equals negative P, then you can show hanger points like consider the here. This hanger point is non-torsion. This is what a uh, uh, hanger original proved for this case. So this is his famous yeah, work. Huh? So he used the toatic property of hanger points to show it is non-torsion. But uh, it's easy to say the same rank two of this EP, uh, this E over Q, mod torsion, this is isomorphic to F2. So somehow from BSD you believe this should have rank one. And uh, actually Hinger, po Hinger himself proved the Hinger points is non torsion. Now you use the Grosak formula, you learn that rank is one, and the uh, Kodiwagen's result you know. The second condition also holds. OK, let me make uh, two remarks about our theorem. The first one, we know this theorem, our main result also holds for same eigen form, same module form of weight 2. Uh, with, uh, with, uh, with ordinary prime p. Um, a module form or V2 and with the trivial central character. And the second one hmm. is the same case with P equals 2 and uh, super singular and uh, for both the rank equals 0 and the rank equals 1 cases. So we are doing with in, uh, in progress. For example, for this rank zero case for P equals two, I did, I'm doing some joint work with John Coates in, in, for this ordinary case. Okay. Now, Super singular. Super. Yeah, here we only dis consider this ordinary it other prime. Huh? I want to. Or. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the proof. First one is this the relevant hanger points. So usually people prove this uh, result on analytic rank one. So analytic rank one uh, using the uh, relates to prove uh, to prove the associated uh, hanger points is non trivial and then use the Grodacher formula. Uh, but uh, for example, like uh, what I discussed here, so Hinger himself originally proved the associated Hinger points is non torsion but the proof is sort of uh, elementary, and uh, we don't say we, we don't see how to generalize to this uh, general situation. Uh, then you will need to choose this uh, relevant hanger points is a, is a, is a very si sensitive with, res with respect to your like, uh, situation. Like in our case, in the same case, we want to use, we want to use this Iwasawa theory of hanger points and elliptic units 
So to use, to use this elliptic units to overcome the difficulty they made in this non same case. So it's better to take the relevant uh, image quadratic field to be the same field itself. So we will take this, um, we will take the relevant image quadratic field to be the same field. But if you take uh, the, the same field to do this naive base change, then you get a sine plus one. So we need to make some variation. So as follows. Now, let me give the uh, construction of uh, this hanger point here. So suppose this f is the module form of the two gamma log n gamma log n associated to R e and uh, has this same by k. So k is the same field. Then this f is a theta series of some Hicke character of type of infinite type one zero and the character is over this uh, ideal of k. Um, now, so take a, take a quadratic twist, quadratic twist, twist of this f, and say this quadratic twist, because f is the same, so the quadratic twist is also the same, and also with the traverse central character. I can write it as a sigma theta lambda prime with the lambda prime self dual. So, so take it as such that this quadratic twist has a non vanishing central value. So this is by bump free, free dog and the half city. We can do this. Uh, and the multi multi. <laughs> so your little correct twist is different, right? Not necessarily k, some other. <coughs> Could it be like uh, this quadratic twist? Like, uh, like uh, this, uh, this quadratic twist uh, could be over some different uh, field. But it's same, but the same field is still the original one. Now, this lambda prime over lambda, both of them have ty same type. So this is of finite order. Do you want the quadratic to be, to be real quadratic or complex? Doesn't matter. So this is uh, a finite order anti-cytomic. So this is uh, this character over this ideal of k. And then you can write it has a form, has a form, this kind, then we can say chi star, so like a chi star over chi, and for some chi finite order over k. Is, is that true, a lambda prime by lambda is actually order two? No. And uh, what? Quad quadratic twist like, a, like, a, like in this case. So this uh, bump of Freiburg-Hofstein prove the following. So it give, give you any automorphic retention. Then over F, then you can find the quadratic twist over this F such that this error value is down zero. So this is corresponding to, suppose I have E, like PY squared equals X cubed minus X. So the quadratic twist here looks like, uh, then I can take this uh, twist over Q join square to negative P. So this curve become to. No, I mean, my, uh, my question uh, is, if a pi is a base change of the, of the chi, 
Yes. So there are lambda issues. Yes. The quadratic twist will be will be the best change of of lambda tensor eta. Is that correct? So the, what you said is this is theta lambda prime equals theta lambda times yeah. tensor with some quadratic twist, like this eta. And then you want to move it here. Yeah. This is the same thing. Yeah, you're right, maybe. Eta so eta times eta, eta composed with norm e over q, then k over q, like this. Anyway, so. Yes, so the quadratic, yeah, you're right. This is a quadratic over k, and uh, it is anti-somic automatically. Quadratic is always anti-somic. <laughs> OK. But, but actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so you're right. So quadratic, so automatically anti-somic. So for any anti-somic uh, factor order character, I can write it as uh, this uh, chi star over chi, this, this case where this chi star just uh, by this uh, complex conjugation belong to this Galois group of k over q. OK. <coughs> so I can write it in this way. So this tell you this lambda prime equals lambda time divided by chi times chi star. And uh, the air series of lambda prime is the same as theta lambda prime. It's also is also same as this dual. So this is uh, one chi star over times chi. This is non-zero. So this air series is same as the air series uh, of lambda prime itself, and uh, it's same as this one. So we know this special value is non-zero. And now the situation I'm going to talk to consider to construct the hanger points is the following. So we consider this module form with lambda divided by chi and the chi itself. So the central character for this pair, the central character of this module form uh, times the restriction of this chi to q below this equals 1. And uh, you know this air series of ranking Selberg of this uh, g and chi equals the air series of this lambda times the air series of lambda star over chi star times chi. So this uh, this uh, this is the same as the air series of f of e. So you can believe we when we construct hanger points, we can handle air series of this original elliptic curve e. And this guy is uh, because this is non-vanishing. We know the sign in the in the function equation is plus one. Okay. Now, the re relevant uh, hanger points is uh, associated to this pair. So this means uh, let's, uh, let's recall the hanger points construct associated to this pair. So you just take uh, this b over q, this indefinite Cotani algebra, Cotani like, uh, ramified exactly at those five places satisfy the Gibson factor of of this g times chi at v. If this one, this eta v is the eta associated to k over this eta is associated to k over q, same field. At the infinity the zero equals negative one. Because here, we, we assume the same rank, the same rank of this is 1. So we know 
the air series has sign negative one by parity. So this has sign negative one. Is this a sign negative one? So this one has sign negative one. This guy has sign negative one. So there are even cardinality five places satisfy this condition. So there are corresponding a unique indefinite quaternion algebra. Why is seven bad for sign one? What? Why seven? Because their value is non zero. Okay. <laughs> so once you have this indefinite quaternion algebra, then you can associate a Schumacher curve. Right? Defined over Q for each for each this uh, open combined subgroup of the ideal points of B cross. Okay, now we know this. Uh, there is a parametrization. You can find the main parametrization from this uh, Schumacher curve to the Abelian variety uh, associated to G by A K Schumacher. So this uh, this is um, yeah by Jack Nonans, we know there are many many module parameterization of this A G by by this Schema curve X, and uh, if we only consider those kinds of module parameterization map the like, uh, map Hodge class to torsion points, like sim similar to map like in module curve case map cusp infinity to zero. So if you only consider that, so you just pick up the theory, pick a, pick a um, module parameterization of this AG, and uh, consider this uh, this uh, same points on same points by K on the Schumacher curve, then you can con you can construct this P K a P you can construct a Hanger cycle like a integration on Galois group K B over K of this phi p phi sigma chi sigma d sigma. OK. Now, mm, uh, when we consider, now you can so let this air be in the subfield of C generated over Q by uh, Hick eigenvalues of G and uh, value of chi. Then there you can we can take A over K be a opinion variety uh, such that so first of all this endomorphism of A over K just is a whole O air. And the second one, the air series of A over K just product of sigma air embedding to C of air series of G sigma cross chi sigma. So this means, this implies this A is isogeny to this opinion variety associated to this Hick character lambda over chi. And uh, you make a sire tensor with this chi, this O air. And uh, viewed is a uh, Galois <laughs> representation in chi. So this cell tensor should, uh, so this A must be isolated to this one. So this gives you a construction of such A. And uh, we can replace this one by some isolated make this endomorphism to be the biggest one. This is just for convenience. And uh, where now this AG, just a restriction from K over Q of this, uh, ab this opinion variety over K associated to this H character, chi over lambda. Uh, okay. Now, this point, this point belong to this AG, this K Abini tensor with air. So you view it as a K, the Galois character, and uh, invariant under this Galois group K B over K. So this point will give rise to a point P zero belong to this AK. So this is uh, what we call the relevant hanger points on this uh, opinion varieties. Yes. 
So the abelian variety, this, uh, this error series of this abelian variety is given by this. And this error series of this one is given by error series of this EDP curve times another one. So if you base change this A to, to K, then you will get um, to enough uh, bigger field, you will get many power of E. Together with other things. So now, but just focus on air functions. It's easier. So, so for so some people want to solve the Appendi equation, so they really want to construct the points on E. So probably you want to construct a map so a is from some form of uh, power of E, right? And something like that. Yeah. Okay, now, now the, the, let's re recall our situation. We want to prove this vanishing order s equals one l s lambda equals one, right? This is the air series of E. But this guy is as equivalent to vanishing order of S G cross chi. This is one. Because this guy equals this one times something with non with non vanishing central value. And the by growth are formula. So this proved by Y Z Z. So we know this uh, you know, P zero belong to AK if you tensor with the Q. So you want this guy is non-zero. So our goal, so what just to try to prove this hanger point is non-trivial. Okay, and the condition, this uh, same rank p infinity of e over q, this has a q rank one. So this uh, tell you, this if you choose p is a prime over r of this O L, then you can consider this similar group of the P infinity of this A over K and uh, talk about the co-rank of this O L P. So this equals one. Just look at the Galois retention. You found the the, the the contribution country some of them use for is from E. Okay, now our goal is uh, we try to prove this, right? Now the question is, so now we want to prove this. So from same rank of A equals one to get this uh, hanger points on A is non-torsion. Now the second part is your saw theory. So to prove this, we use your saw theory. So let the K infinity over k to be this anti cyclotomic ZP extension and the gamma is Galois group. And let this lambda to be ZP to be this OLP join with the gamma and the lambda QP just lambda tensor with ZP QP. Okay. <coughs> Now we need to put the hanger points into a family. So the home of this family hanger points belong to some compact similar group. So let S define to limit inverse of N, so M, similar group PM of this A over this KN where this Kn is the unique subfield of K infinity, which has degree Pn over K. And uh, this is compact. So I tensor this guy with uh, co P. Why what? Why is it magical Because you don't know Yes, but I, I want to prove the points. Oh, you want yeah. to prove? Yes. We want to prove the points is, uh, is um, non-torsion. So we know this is finally, in general, this is finally generated the lambda module, lambda QP module. And uh, 
So look at this uh, air series of G and traced by chi times cosine. For ending cosine belong to this finite order of this uh, anti-astronomic extension. Look at this power series. Then we know this is always split because this uh, is a uh, character over the same field. This is split as this lambda psi times ALS lambda star over chi star times chi times psi. And uh, if we choose this psi, choose this chi good, we can guarantee for ending psi here, this always has sign plus one. And this guy always has sign minus one. So, so that this guy has a sign negative one. And uh, it's Rohniher. Rohnish. Rohnish proves this air prime of one lambda psi and the air one this lambda star over chi prime times chi psi. This is non zero for almost all such chi psi. So because this guy, so if he proves this, these two things are non-vanishing. Spatial derivative of this one and special value of this one is non-vanishing. This means, so this equivalent to say, the derivative of this guy, the one, is non-vanishing, right? If this one is non-vanishing, then using gross aguirre formula plus Cody Watkins argument and plus something, then you can say this, uh, this rank of this S, this is exactly one. Because it is finitely generated. So you take uh, infinitely many specialization, you always get rank one in over P module. So, so this tell you uh, this S is very nice, is actually, is actually this lambda QP rank one. Okay, and uh, what which delta? Where? Where? S. So this uh, compact uh, similar group has uh, has lambda lambda QP rank one. By the way, this argument can be generalized to total real field, the same case. And, uh, um, and also is, was proved by Obertop Howard using elliptic units. So now we can put our finger points into a family belong to this A, K, N for each N bigger or equal zero, such that, so first, uh, this is normal compatible. And the second one starting with this P0 construct before as above. So you can put uh, this higher order conductor hanger points and into a family. And this guy, then you apply this Kumar map. So you will get up. Uh, a commodity co class for each n, this belongs to S. This is lambda non torsion Okay, now we have, uh, we have this uh, lambda QP rank 1 module finally generated and have one element here. So this tell you at the end, we get this S mod, this kappa, this one is finitely generated torsion lambda QP module. And uh, to prove the downstairs kappa zero is non-torsion, we need uh, something like a BSD conjugation result. So now I introduce this divisible similar group. So let x be the direct limit of the similar 
of the PM of A over KN. So this is the discrete one. You take a polarizing dual, so get a compact one, and you tensor with QP over ZP. And uh, because this rank is one, so in this case, we can prove this ha also has rank one. And uh, the, well, the theorem with Ashe, we proved that actually is this is this uh, is a falling thing. So the characteristic of this S mother kappa times characteristic of S mother kappa yoita. This yoita is defined by this isomorphism map. This generator of gamma to its inverse. So this guy equals. So this as idea exactly equals characteristic of this X torsion part. So we can prove this, uh, uh, this so-called uh, Hanger points main conjecture, the same case. So once you have this, then we know because so this will, this word implies our main theorem before main result because we have this co-rank of what's that? This is this is this OLP of this same A P infinity over K. This equals one, right? So this equals one. X has rank one. So you have this X torsion. Then this tell you when you do descent of X torsion with this gamma, you get this finite. The whole stuff is one. And uh, if we get this one, because the comparison control theorem tell you the difference between this guy is finite. Right? If this is one, so get this is finite. I mean, how do you get the Where chi is non trivial? I didn't say chi. Where is the chi? Kappa. I want. Kappa, the whole kappa is non trivial. Whole kappa is non trivial because, this, uh, because here, we have this air value for almost all psi is non zero. I didn't know that. This is Rodinger's theorem. For, for some psi is non zero. For almost all. OK, so then you use this, uh, use this equality. Then you get this S over kappa. You, you make a descent. This is finite. This is finite. Then you know. The same, you use this same rank, mother kappa zero is finite. So this kappa is non zero. This tells you kappa zero is non trivial. And this looks like a uh, Yuasawa theoretical version of BSD conjecture. So it's not um, surprising. This guy just directly implies what we want. OK. What? What? Kappa? So this is the Yuasawa, um, five generated Yuasawa module, torsion one. So you can. Two elements in on that. This is co P. How do you say that? This lambda QP is OLP T right, tensor with ZP QP. So any fact generated module with this, you can associate with your Sawa invariant characteristic. OK, now let's, let me quickly give a proof for this main result. So section three, the proof. So now I reduce the proof of this main theorem to reduce this uh, Hanger points main conjecture at the same case. But to prove that one, so we use uh, this Yuasawa theory of Hanger points and also EDP units and uh, their relation to air functions. Hanger points. Uh, 
Why? This is this this is theorem. We want to prove. Ashe. Okay, now how can we prove this one? So look at this uh, this periodic function we discussed in the in the in the similar this ranking ranking server for g and chi of two variable. Okay. This two variable periodic function has a decomposition in the same case. So it decomposes as a periodic function of cuts. So lambda star over chi star times chi. OK. So you, we have this two variable equality between the two variable periodic function of this ranking server and the cuts product of cuts periodic function. <coughs> and we know this guy by this sign vanishing at anti-satomic line coordinate uh, line. That means on the line on s equals 0 with the s cytotomic variable. So on this uh, anti-satomic line defined by cytotomic variable being 0, then we can take then we can take this derivative on cytomic variable and then evaluate at zero. Then you will get one variable equality. So we will get the derivative of this g cross chi. This is uh, uh, this is uh, this anti-cytomic variable periodic function. So this guy, because the sign is negative one, this sign is plus. So by this interpretation property. You did get this lambda times the periodic function, but the so this is the equality of anti cytotomic variables, variable periodic functions. Now on this gel two side. We have a theory about the hanger points. On this gel one side, we have your theory about the elliptic units. So now by this uh, lambda adic gross dagger formula uh, proved in the paper of Ashe with Daniel. <laughs> with uh, Disney. <laughs> So we know this guy equals this guy essentially is the hanger points we construct before with this kappa eta. So this one is this uh, lama, lambda adic height pairing over this uh, compact group. So we know this guy equals this up to some constant stuff. And uh, now, so this, uh, you, this essential the regulator of this one. Regulator, let's call it, so let's, because this has rank one. So this regulator of this, just the, the pair between the generators. So this uh, pair in the generators, uh, so difference between these two things is the characteristic of this S mod kappa and the characteristic of S mod kappa yoita. Okay. So this is a GL2 theory about uh, your summer. And this guy, for this one, so all Gupta, Howard, and uh, uh, Alord, and Rubin. So it relates this guy with same group. So I just this is divisible cell group and the, and the dual of this one associated to this Galois rotation. So let's just write it the x lambda. Okay. So the def defining of this one is similar to that x, but we change the Galois rotation to be Galois rotation associated to lambda. And this torsion part of this times regulator associated to this Galois rotation, similar group of that. So this guy equals this by their result. And then by Rubin's result, 
we have main conjugate, two variable main conjecture. Then you specialization at the uh, anti-sotomy line. So you get this guy is a characteristic of this x of lambda star over chi star times chi, which is torsion in this case. But, uh, but this same group x is just the composition of x lambda with this x. So you know this is a characteristic of this x torsion times r lambda. And before, we want to say this guy is essentially this. Now, but this one, because the difference between these two ones is this torsion module. So if this, this should be equal, right? But uh, A times C equals B times C, if, uh, and only if C is non-zero. So now we need a very important result of this uh, share. So he proved this uh, periodic function of lambda is non-zero. This implies r lambda, r, this, this essential same as r lambda, the equal is non-zero. So if uh, this guy is uh, this uh, rigidity principle of the mother pH variety studied by Heida, Chai, and uh, Ashe. So we know from this one, we get this main conjecture. Hanger points. Then we are done. Thank you. <laughs>